All right, what's going on guys? This is Morin and Dave from the Erie Better Beer Bureau. Uh, back at you with another review. We're in Pennsylvania, so we thought we'd uh, hit up one of the uh, newer Pennsylvania brewery releases. This is Foliage from Tired Hands Brewing there out of Ardmore, PA. Um, this one is their double IPA. It is dry, or I'm sorry, it is hopped intensely with Amarillo, uh, Simcoe, and Centennial hops, and they claim it's a double version of their Hop Hands Pale Ale. Okay. So, um, I only had that one on draft and it was excellent, so we'll get into this one, tell you what we think. Wow. <laughs> it smells like juice. Like it's, I get a ton of like citrus and tropical. Yeah. I kind of get a balance. I get bowl. grapefruit, like ruby red grapefruit. Mm-hmm. Some tangerine. Yeah. I get like a, uh, almost even a little pine. Yes, like a, I was just going to say, I'm getting some like herbal hop qualities yeah. and some pineiness in yep. there too. Yep. I think, I, I mean, it might be from the Simcoe's. Wow. Yeah, it has a certain... It's deep though. Yeah. Like it's got a it lot does. in it's it. It's not get, like one note on the aroma. Yeah, I get some pine, you know, I get some tangerine. Yeah. Uh, I get a little um, grapefruit now that you're saying it's kind of coming through. At first, I thought I was getting some tropical notes, but they kind of faded off. Yeah. Like, maybe like a mango. Yeah, I could, I could see a little bit of tropical, but for me, I think it's citrusy and piney and even a touch herbal. And it smells like it, or it even smells like it has a solid malt body on yeah. it, too. And it's murky. Boy. I'm milking I mean, white, like white orange, you know what I mean? Cheers. Cheers. Wow. It's a little more juicy than I expected. And there's a sweetness there. There is a sweetness. Um, like fruit juice. And it was like, there was a whole lot. Like at first, like that first sip, I was like, boy, it lingers on your mouth. Like it has like a lingering bitterness. It's real it bright. It like is, it's yeah. a bright tasting beer. If that makes any sense. It wakes, it wakes up the palate. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's got some, it's all over the place though, yeah. as far as flavor profile goes. It like, really is. I get some like floral and some like some uh, earthy pine notes. I get some citrus. I even wonder what the ABV is on this because I, I think I even get like a touch of like alcohol mm -hmm. on it as well. I get pineapple juice for sure. Yeah. In here. Um, you know, and I, it didn't. I mean, I thought immediately that it was juicy, but after taking a few sips, I'm definitely getting pineapple juice. Yeah. But I agree with you. There's a lot going on, kind of like there was in the aroma. Like, yeah. this is not a one-note beer. No, not at all. And it's got a creamy body, yeah, too. Yeah, it is. But it's not, like, like harsh or astringent. I don't find it hard to drink. I think no. it's, it's creamy and smooth. Like, uh, it's nice. It has a nice... Um, carbonation level like a lot of these hazier beers do. That, that lacing carb, there that too, lacing man. on your glass. Yeah, it's juicy. Yeah. Uh, you get some nice hot bitterness, just a touch of like a grassiness in there. Um, mm -hmm. Wait, what? 8%. We just 8%. confirmed that it's 8%, 8% alcohol, which, you know, that makes sense. It's right on there for a double. Yep. Yeah. It's good though, man. I'm liking it. It's different than some of the other double IPAs that yeah. are coming from cans. It's not like a total like juice bomb. Like it's what got it some is. bitterness. It's got, it's not overly sweet. Um, you know, it's nice though. I'm going to give this a 4.25. I'm bordering 4.5 boy. I mean, I guess if I haven't drank so many like great IPAs recently, I mean, I'm comparing it to some of these, you know, ones that I like a little bit better, like, you know, Julius and Lambeau Door from Grimm and, you know, uh, Peniel from Tired Hands. And, you know, it's just stops a touch short for me on those. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go with a strong 4.25, leaning towards 4.5 on this one. Um, but yeah, it's got a real complex flavor profile, great carbonation, and 
boy, I mean, I might be talking myself into a four and a half soon here. So uh, yeah, I am gonna give it the four and a half. Um, you know, I might be at like a four point four, but I'm rounding up because yeah, I, I think it's pretty delicious, man. Um, it is. I'm getting more pineapple yeah, as my yeah, I get beer a lot of pineapple. I'm getting through it. A it has bit. a really nice sweetness, but it has the bitterness to match. It does. Uh, I really like this beer. It kind of exceeded my expectations. You can't always go with what you hear. Yeah, you still got it, man. I'm rounding up here. You're rounding, I'm rounding up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call it an even four and a half from both of us. Huh? Yeah, man. It's it's too good not to give it a four and a half. It is. I mean, it's just that good. So Yeah. But we got other beer to drink, so till next time. Cheers. Cheers.